Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And boy, oh boy, all these media outlets are turning on Disney, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Um, I was very entertained by this. Yeah, this is coming from the AV Club. And they're all saying exactly what we've been saying, but we were in trouble for saying. Disney is the most potent, problematic force in pop culture today. You know, if you said this three years ago, you were an alt-right Nazi. You were literally Hitler. Oh, but don't worry. They make sure they get it in there that Ryan Johnson is the second coming. Okay, all Disney is bad except for Ryan Johnson. Except for Last Jedi, yes. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. Uh, it's very interesting to see all of these media outlets kind of turn on Disney. Uh -huh. I think the checks are bouncing. The Mickey money's running out. Something's going on. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 289,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Greatly appreciated. We do talk a lot about Disney, having worked in and around the company for a number of years, running the PiratesAndPrincesses.net blog yes. and associated podcast. And we've got about 800 or 900 videos on Disney, I think, on, on this channel because it is one of our most talked about subjects. And one of the things we've talked about is that uh, Disney is not the kind, gentle company that people try to make it out Well, not just that. It's like they're like the Borg, where they go no. around and assimilate everything and destroy it and, you know, takes everything away from it, which is funny that they say that and they go on and white knight for The Last Jedi. But um, I just I just found this very entertaining when I saw it because the things we've been saying and other people like us have been saying, um, they're basically saying the same thing, but it's okay now that they say it. Yeah, this is, again, the exact same thing we've been saying. Disney's insatiable appetite for powerful franchises like Pixar, Star Wars, Marvel, and Avatar is all good until it isn't. So we don't like it and we're mad. Until we don't like the direction they're going in or, again, the checks bounce uh, and they're not paying us. Uh, well, I don't think it's that or, so much as it is, it is that the, you know, we talk about this many times, these outlets, especially AV Club's one of them, have been pandering to a certain audience and the money and the hits aren't there. Yes. So, you know, as a check bounces, it could just be that the site's not making enough money so that they're starting to be like, oh, crap, we better get our audience back. As the money starts to run out, a lot of these media outlets are running out of the ad revenue and they're laying off, they're consolidating, they're selling off. And I think they're going to try to try to give the appearance of being more fan friendly. Mm -hmm. um, but it's so weird because, yeah, if you read further down, you, you, you know, <laughs> that changes. Okay, all right. Well, just got to bring this up real quick because people are going to be like, why don't you do a whole video on it, Clownfish? Yes, Avatar did pass $2 billion. But we always figured it was going to do well. All we said was it's going to do well, but it's not going to do well until this year. Right. That's all we right. said. And most of the money it made was global, which we also have mentioned many times. I don't understand why people would be salty about that because we've said that repeatedly. But yeah, so whatever. Who um, said that? Who was complaining about it? Oh, people in the comments are like on the old videos are like this aged poorly because we never said it was. No, we just said it's gonna be ever, hard because no, 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 no. All we ever said was here's what the projections are. Here's how it started out, and I even pointed out on those videos that it underperformed in China, but the but the rest of the global uh, box office actually went higher than what they were expecting and made up for it because it wasn't as big a loss as it would have been normally. So is this partially about because I gotta wonder. Because there, there's a rumor out there that Disney, now that Iger's back, uh, they're going to push for the uh, Chinese box office again. They're going to tell their Marvel and Star Wars stars to well, shut up. Well, that's not a rumor. They are pushing for the Chinese to, box office. To shut up and stop costing them the Chinese box office. Right. And uh, also but, learn Mandarin. Yeah, but I'm just like, we never said that, though. That's no. what makes me so mad is that we they keep saying them that we said things we didn't say. We always said it was going to do well. We said we didn't know how well. We said it was going to, I thought it was going to take a while to hit. It's not going to hit as much as the first one did, and it was going to take a while to do so. And if it did well, it wouldn't be into this year, which is what happened. So there we go. And that's mostly global. It did get off to a slow start. That's undeniable. So let's let's talk about this They'll article. They'll still say it, it didn't happen even though. Right. <laughs> All right. So where are we going with this? Well, we'll go down here. And talking about Disney doesn't literally own everything, but it owns enough that it can be hard to tell a difference, meaning pop culture. Yeah. And yet, as horrifying as it is to imagine a future where Disney fully takes over and starts appointing cybernetic world leaders from its Hall of Presidents attraction. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it's so like funny. tiny hands Trump. The massive company's control over much of pop culture has produced some legitimately interesting works of art. And they're talking about how there's then you always have some really good stuff. And then there's a period where it's dull and dries up and becomes routine. And they said the problem isn't necessarily that Disney buys up everything. It's that Disney buys up everything, bleeds it dry. <gasps> AV Club, you you must be, you know, alt-right Yahtzees. 
and then finds a new thing that it can aggressively chew the life out of before going on to find something else that it will once again fail to satiate the bottomless hunger of a big company and its shareholders. What? This is what we... crazy talk. We have been saying this for years. We said Disney has always had ups and downs. They always have, like, they'll have a renaissance, and then they'll have, like, 10 years where they put out a bunch of crap, and then they they come back swinging it. But even then, it was their own stuff. It's yes. been under Iger they started buying up everything and then turning it into a Borg. And the problem is, is you can't spin that many plates. And Disney is trying to bring, uh, you know, trying to Disneyfy franchises that have no right to be Disneyfy. You know, Star Wars, Marvel, it's whatever. Kind of just Disneyfying. It's like they're listening to the wrong people and they're changing it for no damn good reason. But they get they have a fit about that. Too. But they're they're admitting that Disney is bleeding these franchises dry. They're admitting that they've they've run in a roundabout way. They've run Star Wars and Marvel into the ground. They're admitting it. Well, they said they're going to say the current pattern goes back to at least tw- the early two thousands. No, it's longer ago than that, but you probably weren't around then. <laughs> um, they said about after Iger took over the first time, they had their slump with Brother Bear, oh, forgettable films, Brother Bear, Home on the Range, Chicken Little, and Meet the Robinsons. I would argue Meet the Robinsons is actually very good. Um, Meet the Robinsons was good. It then they said good. they had a distribution deal with Pixar, and then they basically, you know, they'd find Nemo and the Incredibles and Cars. Um, then Iger bought Pixar outright, and it didn't matter if Disney owned animated projects for stinkers because it could just lean on reliable Pixar for winners. And now it's the opposite. Now Pixar has been relegated to direct to streaming, and Disney pushes their own movies theatrically. You know, it's it's so weird. And and honestly, the Pixar movies have been hit or miss more often than not since yeah. Lasseter got going. Mm-hmm. Well, they're talking about the different movies they're doing, and then they go down to Marvel, like mining Marvel for all it's worth. They're already saying Ant Man; they don't think it's going to even do as well as Thor four when it comes out, no. which is really bad considering how they're leading with this movie is leading Phase five and bringing in Kang. Yeah, so they're they're betting on this one to lead into Secret Wars, and they're even like, yeah, it's not going to do so good. Mm-mm. Yeah, that's what another article we were looking at was saying. I don't know what this one says. They're talking about, you know, Kevin Feige laying some vague groundwork for a vision he had for the interconnected city. Vague vision. They, you know, basically, he's like, we'll just make different flavors of Marvel. Um, they're talking about that. Then they go down about, then they go into Star Wars. And, of course, here it comes. J.J. Abrams, The Force Awakens, was safe. A love letter to Star Wars itself. Much as George Lucas' original films were full of nods to samurai films, war stories, and pulp, pulp sci-fi sagas, which is why people loved it. Mm-hmm. So huge, in fact, that Disney fell into a trap where it decided it needed to have a whole new Star Wars movie every year, which I agree was brand fatigue. And the back behind the scenes meddling, which, you know, yeah, with Kathleen Kennedy is how many creative differences yeah. have we run into? Yep. You can read the next paragraph because I'll just get pissed. But worse than that, worse than that was the weird backlash, the weird backlash, the weird backlash to Ryan Johnson's The Last Jedi. I say, they say backlash. I say backwash. A brilliant and beautiful film that dared to question what Star Wars was really about and who it was really for. Some fans had <laughs> legitimate issues with what the movie was saying and doing, but they were largely drowned out by the wholly illegitimate issues raised by some very vocal racist and misogynists. What were the illegitimate oh, issues? What were the, Ill- what were the Ill- legitimate issues and illegitimate issues? They don't say. Lucasfilm boss Kathleen Kennedy maintains her support for Johnson even to this day, but he hasn't gotten another trilogy, has nope. he? Nope. Uh, but when J.J. Abrams returned to finish the sequel trilogy with The Rise of Skywalker, a film that doesn't dare question or challenge anything and is the most lazy by the numbers slug of the entire franchise, it was clear the backlash had scared Disney. Uh, after that, Star Wars movies that were in the works were canned and the brand shifted its focus from theaters to the low stakes of Disney+. Plus. Uh, the Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett, Obi-Wan, and or nobody really cares. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they destroy the brand. And not, well, I'm sorry. You you can like The Last Jedi. There are scenes in The Last Jedi I thought were good. I thought the cinematography was good. I thought some of the acting was good. But as a Star Wars movie fitting into the, uh, the Skywalker saga, and especially being the middle part of a new trilogy, it was shitty. It was, it didn't, there was no, there was no overarching story. It was just no. stupid. It was just to, to subvert De- expectations. Yeah. Deconstru- deconstructing Star Wars when they really needed to be getting people excited about Star mm-hmm. Wars. And really, I mean, I hate to say it, but leaning into that nostalgia because a lot of fans were not thrilled with the prequels, which looked like a masterpiece compared to some of the stuff Disney's put but, out. I but I mean, I, I love it. The, the, very, the, the very vocal racist and misogynist. No, it wasn't about racism and misogynist. I'm not either of those things. And I thought it was shit, dog shit. Sorry. Now they're talking how they're moving on to Fox. 
And I'm like, what's going to be the next victim of Disney? Is it going to be Aliens or The Simpsons or Avatar? If they make James, they piss off James Cameron and start demanding what he puts in the movies. Um, ironically, today they just announced a bunch of 25th anniversary merchandise for Titanic. <sighs> On, on shop Disney, yeah. including like a, 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 a 18 inch clock. They're charging $215 for a tea set, which is like two cups, a, a little pitcher and some saucers for $200. And, um, the, my favorite, the sketchbook set where you can draw your friends, like the French girls naked. You can draw your friends yeah. naked. You can draw your friends naked. Uh, I, I would like to see a, a, a door floaty, a wooden door floaty pool toy. There you go. You know, you get a little figure so you can try to solve the puzzle. Yeah. Of how they could fit. How they they, could fit. they made a heart of the ocean necklace, but it's not even. They didn't even do a crystal. It's lapis, which is stupid. But it's 150 bucks, so I guess you know. Next time you go to Disney Cruise, you can throw it in the water. I mean, this is. I mean, they're they're already starting to move on to stuff. They they were selling anniversary merchandise for Anastasia. However, they can bilk these things. They're gonna do it. God, and the irony of all this is Anastasia was produced by Don Bluth, who had a falling out with Disney. Mm -hmm. And now they're, I mean, that's got to hurt. That's got to hurt to have Disney strip mine something you made because yeah. you, you thought Disney lost its touch. So you went and started your own studio and you created a princess movie like you thought sh princess movie should be made. And now Disney's got control of it anyway. And they're making Disney merch and they're making Anas Anastasia a uh, Disney princess, basically. Yeah. By proxy. Yeah. You know, it's like, what the frick? But overall, what was funny to me was this article was... You know, these people, the same type of people that normally would be like, you have to love it because but they still have to get in there about Star Wars. But it was just funny to me. This is all ultimately bad news for Disney. This is a capitalist society where forward momentum is the only thing that matters. Yes, that's why so many of you are getting fired from these blogs because mm -hmm. you're not bringing in a forward momentum. With hot takes like this, calling Star Wars fans racist and misogynist. And I'm not saying that some people didn't take it too far or some people were picking at the wrong things to attack. But The Last Jedi is absolutely positively what destroyed any forward momentum, momentum for Disney and Star Wars. And they, they brought some people back. They kind of won some people back with The Mandalorian, and then they screwed that up. And it's like... There was a lot of downward momentum, like a bowel movement. Kind of, yes. <laughs> uh, like chronic diarrhea. That's right. And it's still going on because these people won't take the pill and stop it. Um, but good news is for us is that we'll... What kind of pill needs to stop what? <laughs> Diarrhea. Oh, but the good news for us, morning after. But the good news for us is that we'll probably still occasionally get some cool movies and TV shows out of the increasingly worse deals. Um, then those cool movies and TV shows will be dumped into a furnace to power whatever the next thing is. That's exactly it. I mean, yep. that's the thing. Look, it, you're just now figuring that out. You're just now figuring oh, out. Give this person a cookie. So everybody was like getting so excited. Like, Disney's buying... Star Wars, it's so great. Disney's buying Marvel. That's so great because we like Marvel. We like these things. And Disney's going to do good things with it. No, it's Disney Co. This is what they do. They're like locusts. They're going to, you know, move on to other things. The thing is, is there's nothing at Fox for them to strip mine. Like the last couple Aliens movies did not do that well. They, they did Predator. They did Predator, which personally I thought Prey was actually decent, but it's not tentpole franchise no. good. That's why it wasn't in the theater. It was basically a made-for-TV movie. Right. That's yeah. what it was with really iffy CGI, and um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't a theatrical release at all. So yeah, um, and that's that's just it. And then what will happen? Is somebody else will come along and be razzle dazzled by Disney and be like, you know, yeah, I'm going to give my life to the Walt Disney Company. I'm going to give all my best ideas to them, and then they're going to strip mine that and kick them out and. Mm -hmm. You know, and rinse and repeat, because you look at all the stuff that Disney is known for. It was all created by individuals that had their ideas basically taken by Disney Co., <laughs> you know. Well, Sam has earned the Captain Obvious Award. Yes, Sam. Good job, Sam. Good good job. It took took you guys long enough. Let's see what the commenters are saying on this, because this is crazy. Be able to see how Disney churning out an endless stream of Avatar sequels in the hopes of dominating the global box office is any different than what Cameron himself is doing. Not untrue. Yeah. Last Jedi, the Last Jedi had weird backlash. Come on, man. Why are people like this? Obi-Wan Kenobi's a waste of time. Could have been better, but I liked it. Well, good for you. What's wrong with calling The Last Jedi a brilliant and beautiful film? Porks! Porks. <laughs> About half the people who watched it felt the opposite. It's not that bad. It's like the perfect mashup of the adventures of Pluto Nash and Battlefield Earth. <laughs> but that's not glowing. Uh, oh, ooh, this is true. 
Disney taught us that LGBTQ plus people are okay as long as they can be easily edited out for international release. That's true. That is, we're gonna see more of that, guys. So all this, all this talk about the don't say gay and all that, it's not gonna matter because uh, Chinese money, basically, CCP. So you're gonna see some uh, very slight representation mm -hmm. that can be going after. easily edited out. I love this. This being a capitalist society where forward momentum is the only thing that matters. Gasp, won't someone please think of the proletariat? <laughs> President Zod from President Zod. Oh, uh, that was pretty. God. No offense, but as well intentioned as the last Jedi was, its execution left a lot to be desired. Liability is like a casino planet subplot and the lowering of both sides. Common sense only gets you so far. Not to mention this obsession with the past, which has left the saga damaged and the universe stagnant and unsure of its future, coupled with content stockpiling diamonds in the rough like Andor's side. And Fuck Disney. That's that's how we're ending it, right? That sounds like a good that's, that's a good way to end it. That's what the media is basically saying at this point. I think we're gonna see a lot of this going forward. Well, that's what the media's been saying at this point, but we're talking about the media when we talk about ourselves. Not these people. They're Lord. just now starting to wake up and be like, you know what? I'm noticing a pattern here. <laughs> Young fool. <laughs> We're just like, wow. Okay. Only anyway. now at the very end. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> anyway, we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.